The total cost of treating diagnosed diabetes has risen from $174 billion in 2007 to $245 billion in 2012. So that is a 41% increase. With fresh funding from the Peter Thiel Foundation, we welcome a 22-year-old college dropout who is developing a smart contact lens to monitor glucose levels. Harry Gandhi with me now, co-founder and CEO of Medela Health. So you took a huge risk. What made you risk leaving school even if Peter Thiel was involved? Well, the great thing about entrepreneurship uh, and how quickly the world is evolving is that you can build anything, uh, just about anything, given the right resources and the right people supporting you. Um, and that environment has been present uh, in my hometown of Waterloo, as well as supports from you know, people like Peter Thiel and, and other groups. We know Peter well. He's a friend of the show, so we know he's a good mentor to work with. But what made you think of, I mean, I've always read that sort of the eyes are a window to your health, but what made you think of this and basically turning it into a product? Yeah, that's right. So w eyes are the window, uh, you know, not just into our hearts, but now also into our health. We can detect, you know, not just glucose levels, but in the future we'd be able to detect many other biomarkers that indicate and tell us more about our health and go from sort of this reactive model of healthcare that's present right now, where we only go to the doctor when something goes wrong and make it preventative that each time we have data and we have information about our health, and can prevent that from happening in the future and can potentially save our lives. Potentially save lives. So Harry, I know you're still developing the product and right now it's in a beta phase and the contact lens fits an elephant eye before it will fit a human eye, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, the great thing about the technology behind this is it, the, the nanotechnology and the microelectronics have developed significantly in the last, last five to 10 years as far as the industry goes. And really, our company and our tech team have been able to grow off of that. Um, putting something so small into the eye, coupled with the sensing capability that can detect such small concentrations of glucose, hasn't been done before. And this is, this is sort of the forefront. And if you can do this, this is something that can potentially change the lives of millions and millions of diabetics across the U.S. and eventually the rest of the world. So, Harry, for some it may sound kind of crazy, but there's other big tech firms working on a similar kind of product. I mean, I'm looking at this list here from some research, Novartis, Google, Microsoft, and they've said publicly they are working on this problem as well. How are you going to keep your first mover advantage? So that's the great thing about being a startup. Uh, we're, we're very good at being agile, being quick at our development. Um, and that's the great thing about building technology in small teams is having advantages that these big companies don't have. Recently, Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book by the name of David and Goliath. And we see ourselves in a very similar situation where uh, you know, they're the big tech giants who, who've been operating in this space uh, and getting more and more investments. But there are unfair advantages that small companies can have as far as how quickly we can develop our technology um, how quickly we can move and how quickly we can pivot and iterate. And that's really has been the key to our success. And I think it will continue to be in the coming years. Harry, we're so glad to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Harry, Gandhi, thank you. Thank you for having me. Joining us there, co-founder and CEO of Medela Health.